So in this video, we're going to find some partial derivatives using the chain rule from calculus. So if you notice, we have x, y, and z. So w is a function of x, y, and z, according to just this. But if you look at both, uh, all three, x, y, and z, you'll notice that um, they're all functions of s and t. Therefore, w is a function of s and t. So in other words, we could actually compute del w del t, and it should make sense because w is technically a function of two variables, right? Uh, s and t. Now, one way to do it is to just plug in x, plug in y, plug in z, multiply it all out and take the partial derivative. But the point of this video is to show you how to use the chain rule, which is very useful in uh, mathematics. So to use the chain rule, it's pretty simple. So what you do is you just take the partial of each piece. So first we're going to take the partial of w with respect to x times, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is x, so we're going to take the partial with respect to x of x with respect to t. All right, so take the partial with respect to um, t. Plus, then we take the partial with respect to y times, and again, the derivative of the inside. So this would be del y um, del d. Plus, and then we take the partial with respect to z. So del w del z times del z del t. So basically, you take the partial of each variable, x, y, z, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So notice, we always end up with the partial with respect to t, in a sense. So let's see, so del w del x, so that's going to be the derivative of this with respect to x. So y and z are constants, so the derivative of x is 1, so we just get y, z. And then del x del t. Well, del x del t should be 2, because the derivative of s is 0, the derivative of 2t is 2. Plus del w del y, so this is going to be this derivative here. y is a variable, x and z are constants, so we just get xz, right, because the derivative of y is 1, x and z are constants. And then del y del t, it uh, looks like that's going to be negative, negative 2. Plus, and finally del w del z, so in this case the derivative of z is 1, these are constants, they hang out, so x, y. And then del z del t should be, uh, looks like 2st, 2st. Right, s is constant. Now we just clean this up. Uh, let's see, so we get 2yz uh, minus 2xz. And then here we're left with uh, plus 2st xy. Now oh, the fun part. Uh, we're supposed to plug in x, y, and z back into this creature. So we get 2, let's see, y is s minus 2t. z is st squared minus 2, and then x here is s plus 2t. z is uh, st squared plus 2st, and then again x is s plus 2t. That really fast. We'll check our work. And then y is s minus 2t. Let's check that. s minus 2t. So what we did was replace, we replaced y with s minus 2t, uh, z with st squared, boom, and then that's our x, yep. That's y, uh, the z. Yep, so xz, and then st, st hangs out, uh, x is that, and y is that. And you're supposed to simplify this, but let's just stop there. Uh, the point was that you know how to use the chain rule. I hope that made sense.